Hello beekeepers, before starting the video, I want you to press that like button and the subscribe button with the notifications bell on. If we reach 1k likes, I will switch back to red, I promise. Let's get into the content. How to switch to a perfect red hive in Bee Swarm Simulator. Destroying my blue hive to build the best red hive. Hello again guys. As you can see, the honey day brought me 270 trillions of honey. So, as I promised I will switch back to red. What's our first step? We need a Supreme Star Amulet that contains Scorching Star and Star Saw Double Passive and other overpowered stats. Do not replace your old amulet with a Solo Scorching or Solo Star Saw. Wait until the game gives you the perfect double or a double passive that is fine. I already wasted tons of honey and I got nothing useful for this color. That's the reason why I kept grinding for more honey. Oh well, we finally have it guys. Without thinking a lot, we replace it, because we can upgrade it later. That's what I'm talking about guys. If we had instead of convert rate, pollen stat, we were 5 of 5. I can call this 4.5 of 5. Never mind, we take it for sure. As you can see, in getting a perfect supreme star amulet you need to save tons of honey. You can get lucky or unlucky. And now, the fun part everyone, where we switch to a red hive. I will get a few royal jellies, because I don't need that much. First of all, we need mythicals. We have to turn on, until mythic auto jelly settings. And now, we have to replace the old bees. First we need 8 vectors. I will replace those tadpoles from the upper side of the hive. 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh wow. We received a gifted buoyant bee lol. That's funny, I like it. 5, 6, 7. And I will put one here, under the digital bee. Never mind guys, we keep this I guess. We put the last vector where the fuzzy bee is. Good job, good job. Now, we need 11 precise bees. I will place them under the vectors. You need precise bees, mainly for the scorching star. You need them too, for the super critical buff. We replace every blue bee first, because we don't need them anymore in a red hive. If you own a digital bee in the hive, just keep it. It has a chance to multiply the main tokens. For example, bear morph, baby love, fire and other good things. I am replacing the bees that I need, because I want to make my hive look so cool. Same with the old blue hive. Talking about, what bee to gift first? You have to gift the event bees first. And then I advise you to gift every precise bee. We are done here, but we need one more precise. And, the last precise here. We need 13 spicy bees right now. I will do replace those buoyants from the middle side and the ones that are in the downside of the hive. Here, we are done. Now, the downside of the hive, full of spicy bees. Done guys. We do some good progress here. We need only one music bee. So, we replace two of them with spicy bees. Great. Turn, until legendary and until gifted, because we need a shy bee. Now, we have to place four baby bees in the hive. Why baby bees and not tadpoles? Baby bees as we all know, drops only one token. So, we get the baby love token more often. My hive looks decent to be honest. We need two carpenter bees. As we all know, or some of us knows, carpenter bees has bigger mark tokens. So, they can help the vectors by making the connection with other marks. Now, we get into the event bees. First, we need the crimson bee. We need a tabby bee. For sure, we need a bear bee too. We don't need gummy bee as a red hive, so, we do festive bee instead. The last event bee is photon. Don't forget that you need a gifted rage bee. I don't know if everyone know but, the precise targets works together with attack buffs. So, they do damage to mobs and they do damage to fields too. A gifted Riley bee for extra backpack space. Another bee that helps precise bees, is the brave bee, that gives extra attack. Place it in the hive if you own a drum beequip. Drum beequip gives you haste token. We place the carpenters where the epic bees are. Place the photon together with the other event bees. And now, let's place the vector bee that is missing instead of the single carpenter bee. And yes, you need a gifted basic bee for extra 1.2 pollen. This bee is important. Doing a recapitulation. We have one basic bee, one brave bee, one rage bee, one Riley bee, four baby bees, two carpenters, one music bee, one shy bee, 11 precise, 13 spicy bees, eight vectors, one bear bee, one crimson, one digital, one festive bee, one photon, and one tabby bee. I have enough tickets to buy a single star treat. I will gift crimson bee first. The biggest advice guys, gift the event bees first with star treats. I can buy some more tickets, 2k tickets for two star treats. I will give them to festive and to photon. Could buy gingerbreads. 47k seeds incoming. Nice I guess. Oh my god, bro, I'm literally happy right now. We have 5 gifted precise at the moment. 38k strawberries incoming. Nice, nice and another one. 3 gifted spicy bees. Not bad guys. My savings were good. We need attack mutation on precise bees. This is the final result. It looks so cool beekeepers. But, this is not all. We need to arrange every beequip. I will move to storage everything that uses bomb pollen and other useless stats. Let's take our red hive beequips from the storage. 
a Beastmas tree hat on Digital B, a smiley sticker on Carpenter B, poinsettia on the Shy B, a drum on Riley B, and another one on Brave B as I said, a toy horn on the Rage B for Melody Token, and one on Crimson B, the electric candles on the best spicy bees in the hive. Let's see what beequips we have left to get. A paper angel is perfect for Photon B. The last beequip is that pinecone, because we have no more good beequips left. This is how my hive looks with every beequip. What are we waiting for? Let's equip Dark Scythe and Demon Mask. What do you think guys? Am I able to defeat a level 21 Snowbear solo? Let's test our hive. This is so satisfying and fun at the same time guys. And the Snowbear is dead lol. All I have to say is, Red Sweet Home, Zap Player is back. If you can't afford gifted bees, just do your possible to get at least a few of them for the gifted hive bonus. You can use ungifted bees too, but a gifted hive can bring you tons of honey. That's all I had to say for today. I am so happy that I'm back to red. I am so happy if you press that like button and if you subscribe too, because it helps me a lot. If we reach 1k likes at this video, I will prepare another best video for you all. It was me Zap Player, your favorite bee swarm troll. Stay safe, stay strong and stay cool. Bye.